Good afternoon, everybody. Today's a special day. It's always a special day when you're in the kitchen with Uncle Divs, but today's an extra hot special day. Today, I released my brand new Dirty Bird Rub Nashville Hot. So it's only right, especially for lunchtime today, we're going to make a Nashville Hot Chicken Sandwich from start to finish with that brand new Dirty Bird Rub, Nashville Hot. Hope you're doing great this afternoon. You're watching this replay on YouTube. Shout out, shout out to you too. If you're watching, I'm live here in Houston, Texas, but let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you're tuned in from, and I'm gonna show you how I get this thing started. Let's first, of course, go through the ingredients list. For this chicken sandwich, I'm using, I'm gonna make two sandwiches because one is too close to none, so I'm making two, all right? San Antonio, I see you, what up? I got two boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Lisa in Virginia, I see you. I got one cup, whoa. Make sure you don't breathe on your flour so that doesn't happen. I've got one cup, <laughs> one cup of all-purpose flour. Shout out to Tennessee, we international. Shout out to South Africa and South Carolina. I see y'all, everybody double tapping the screen. I appreciate y'all. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes. Appreciate y'all. Baltimore, I see you. I also have about a half a cup of buttermilk. Two eggs. I've got the littlest amount of hot sauce left, but we're gonna use this to the best of our ability. I'm using crystals, but let me know what your favorite hot sauce is. Put your favorite hot sauce in the comments. Let me see what hot sauce you like. I'm using that, that crystals. Let me know what you like. And then for our sandwich, I'm just gonna do a little lettuce. I've got some truffle mayo. You can use regular mayo though. I use some pickles. And my two buns, Texas Pete, Louisiana hot sauce, Tapatio, okay. We got some hot sauce connoisseurs. All right, and then also I got my cast iron skillet. And last but not least, the seasoning we're gonna use to bring this all together is my brand new Dirty Bird Rub, Nashville Hot. Just released today. For y'all watching this live, you can get it with free shipping. Use the code Nashville VIP, all caps, one word, for free shipping at uncledibs.com. All right, y'all, let's get started. I also got my oil over here, medium heat, cast iron skillet. Peanut oil is what I like to use, but you can use whatever oil you have on hand. Canola, canola, vegetable oil, whatever you want to do. All right, so it's a brand new bottle, so I got to pop that seal. This is what it looks like, y'all. And as far as the spice level goes, it's not, I need to go to the emergency room hot, but it's definitely hot. All right, it's definitely hot. So first things first, I'm gonna season up my chicken. I got my boneless and skinless chicken thighs here, so I'm just gonna season that up. I'm gonna set that to the side while I get my dry and my wet ingredients together, all right? Throw a little bit more on the top side here. Hope y'all having a great day. If you tuned in, we're making Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. Anybody from Tennessee in here? Let me know where you're from. We got people from, from uh, South Africa to South Carolina in here. We international, y'all. We international, y'all. So let me know where you're from. Appreciate y'all hitting that, double tapping that screen. We got over a thousand likes. I thank y'all so much. So this is my chicken right here. I'm just gonna set it to the side for now. And now we're gonna deal with these wet ingredients and these dry ingredients, all right? So you're gonna want two stations You want one station, bowl, whatever you want to use for your dry. So I'm going to put one cup of flour right up in there. And then I'm going to hit it with some more of that Dirty Bird Rub because we like our flour seasoned. Okay? And so I'm just going to mix that up just as such. Let me Make sure y'all see, y'all can see the seasoning and the flour getting to know each other just like that. Las Vegas, 
S Majors is from Nashville. We got a lot of people from Vegas in here. Shout out to y'all. West Coast, I see you. Hope y'all having a good day. Are y'all at work or y'all just chilling at the house today? Let me know. Are y'all working from home? Let me know too. Set that to the side. And then now for the wet, one egg. And this full recipe, if you're just not tuned in, is gonna be available on my site, UncleDibs.com, later today. So don't worry. You don't have to have your notepad right now. Half a cup of buttermilk. And then, remember that hot sauce we talked about? A couple of dashes of that hot sauce right in that, right up in that wet mixture, okay? And then the same thing. You just want to whip that together. Some people said they're working from home. Detroit, what up, though? Hey. That BMF season finale this Friday, I can't wait. Anybody here watch BMF? What shows you got? What y'all what shows y'all watching right now? It's too many. It's too many. But I definitely tune into that BMF every Friday. Can't believe it's already over. Felt like it just started. Donnie, they on the way, Donnie. We just shipped out a lot more today. They on the way, Donnie. Missouri. Shout out to Missouri. All right. So I got my dry and my wet, ready to go. So what you also you want to do too, is you want to take a couple of drops, just so we make sure this chicken is real crispy, you want to take a couple of drops of that wet batter and drop it in that dry batter, just like that. Just a little bit like that. Gonna mix that on together. That makes sure it's extra crispy, all right? So I got my peanut oil over here doing this thing. Now, Let's get this thing ready to go, all right? New York, I see you. Nashville, I see you. Taking our chicken thighs, boneless and skinless, wet batter first. Get it up in there. Now you wanna drop it in your flour, your dry ingredients. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use another glove because you don't really wanna use the same hand for both, you want to have like a wet hand and a dry hand. So my wet hand is going to be my left hand and my dry hand is going to be my right hand, all right? So glove that up. And now I'm going to make sure this flour is all in the crevices of this chicken. You can use boneless uh, chicken breast as well, but I feel like thighs just really complement this dish the best. I love thighs. Let me know what your favorite part of the chicken is. Is it the drumstick, the thigh, the wing, the breast? Or if you like the whole thing, let me know. I see you, Connecticut. Everybody double tapping that screen. We just hit 2,000 likes. Thank you so much, y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. We're doing a Uncle Dib style Nashville hot chicken sandwich. And we're going to double dip this thing, all right? We're going to double dip this thing. So back in the wet, once again, a couple tosses in those wet ingredients. And then back in the dry. Just like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be busting. I can already see what my favorite part on this one is gonna be. Make sure that gets nice and covered. You don't wanna see no raw chicken. You want everything to be covered in that flour mixture, all right? Then you just wanna set it to the side. I like to use a wire rack, but just set it to the side, all right? I think my favorite is honestly the drumstick. The drumstick is what I love the most, but you can't go wrong with any of it. I'm gonna take our last piece of chicken here, because I'm making two chicken sandwiches. Wet mixture, just like that. Which is just, once again, buttermilk, egg, and a little bit of hot sauce. And then into our dry ingredients. Oops, I switched hands. Hand change. My left hand is now my dry hand. And the, and the dry ingredients is just flour, some, some of my Dirty Bird Rub, Nashville Hot. That's it. And a couple, couple drops of this dredge as well. And we're double dipping again, so back in the wet. And then we're gonna throw it back in the dry, back in the flour, all right? So this same process you can use for regular fried chicken. If you don't wanna use a, have a sandwich, you can use it 
exactly the same way. This is double breaded chicken right here, all right? So it's gonna have that extra crunch that you're looking for. But it's gonna have that hot crunch, that hot taste, because this is Nashville hot. And like I said, that Nashville hot seasoning is available right now, just dropped today on UncleDibs.com. Use the code Nashville VIP for free shipping, and I got you. I'll take care of the shipping, because I want you to have this flavor so bad. All right? Got that done. And this is what you're looking like, just like this, all right? Let me see what y'all saying. Chesapeake, Virginia, what it do? Wings and thighs. And I like the whole chicken, too. I love me some wings and thighs. All right, so we're going to move some of this out the way so that we don't make any mistakes or any messes. Let me go ahead and clean up some of this. I don't like cooking in a dirty kitchen, y'all. That's like a pet peeve of mine, so excuse me. If I hope y'all don't mind while I get some of this mess out the way. I can't, I can't cook in a right mind state in a dirty kitchen. You understand what I'm saying? So let me just move some of this stuff out the way, especially when we're working with hot oil because you don't want to trip. You don't want anything to trip over anything. You don't want anything to move. And that's so you know, you got oil splashed everywhere and now the house is on fire. You don't want that. All right. So you got to be very, very observant and careful. Appreciate everybody liking. We had over 3,000. We almost have 4,000 likes. I appreciate y'all so much. With all this, just tuning in, I'm doing my Dirty Bird Rub Nashville Hot Demo. We're doing chicken sandwiches for lunch, y'all. You can get this seasoning right here at UncleDibs.com. Hit the link in my bio. I see my phone going off. I'm going to shout some of y'all out here in a minute. But let's get to eating, all right? Let's get to cooking first. So chicken right there. Throw a little bit more flour. I see a spot that's a, a little bit naked. I want to add a little flour to that right there, all right? So I got my oil, about 350. Peanut oil is what I'm using. And we're just going to drop this right in the skillet, just like that. And so since this is a boneless and skinless, but primarily boneless thigh, it's not going to take super long time. Yep, Dirty Bird Hot, Dirty Bird Nashville Hot. Just dropped today, y'all. Just dropped today. And I don't want to overcrowd the pan too much because I'm using one of my smaller cast irons for this. So I'm just going to do one at a time. I'm just going to do them both at once, but I, I want to take my time with this so I can sit here and talk to y'all. Can you air fry this? Y'all going to think I'm crazy, but I actually don't have an air fryer. I'm not really an air fryer kind of guy. Uh, if, you, if you have an air fryer, you're going to have to read your instruction manual. But yes, you can air fry this chicken. All you're going to need, the most important thing you need is the seasoning, though, so you can get that kick. All right? Shout out to Kimberly. I see you. So while that's doing its thing, the other ingredients you're going to need for this dish, you want to use some good buns. You can use brioche, whatever the case may be. Get you some good buns. Now, traditionally, Nashville Hot is made with coleslaw. I'm not a big coleslaw fan. I'm not the biggest coleslaw fan, so I'm just using some romaine lettuce. That's what I like, but do what you want. But you got to have those pickles regardless. And I think the best thing about the Nashville Hot Sandwich is that you get a little bit of hot, the coolness from the pickle, pickles and the coleslaw, and it's just like a whole experience. You know what I'm saying? If you're from Nashville, you know what I'm talking about, or if you've ever been to Nashville, I've been to Nashville, Prince's, Hattie B's, a couple other spots, but let me know what your favorite hot chicken spot is. Whether you're in Nashville or not, put your favorite hot chicken spot in the comments. Big Heavy G from Chicago. You don't see the Nashville hot? It's on the link in my bio. So go to my page, Uncle Dibs, click, click the link in my bio, and you'll see it right there. You'll see it right there. People are ordering it right now, so I know it's available. Let's go ahead and flip this chicken. Oh, yeah. When I say fried chicken, I'm talking about fried chicken, y'all. That's what it is right there. Louisiana in the house. The stove is on uh, medium heat right now. What's up, Cheryl? I see you, Cheryl. Louisiana in the house. I'm not far from Louisiana. I'm in Houston, Texas. So, 
Y'all know how we get down over here. So many people from Louisiana and Houston, it's crazy. I feel like sometimes there's more people in Houston from Louisiana than people from Houston sometimes. But it's all love, great food. It's crawfish season, so you already know. Yeah, we got our chicken looking really, really good right now. And if you wanna be super, super certain that your chicken is cooked all the way through, get you a meat thermometer like this. All my essentials, everything I cook with is on my Amazon list, which is on my site too as well, UncleDibs.com. And you watch your chicken cook to 165. That means it's cooked, all right? That means it's cooked. And so, I know a lot of people might think, oh, Nashville hot. It's just how you season it. I'm gonna show you why it makes, how to make your chicken natural hot, all right? It's not about how it's seasoned. It's not just about it being fried chicken. It's what you do after you fry it, so stay tuned. I'm gonna show you the secret, all right? And you're gonna need your oil to make this happen. You're gonna need your oil. A lot of people from uh, Midwest, shout out to Cleveland. Yo, we had over 5,000 likes. Everybody double tapping the screen. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm just making a little chicken today. Nashville hot chicken. That's the color you're looking for right there. That's the color you're looking for right there, all right? I'm gonna drop this other chicken right up in there too as well. Just like that. Let me get a little temperature reading on this here. Yep, we're looking good, y'all. We're looking good. Just set that to the side. You can put it on a plate, you can put it on a baking dish, don't matter, just set it to the side, all right? Thighs, New York, my favorite is Johnson Chicken in the Bronx, New York. Hey, people be sleeping on some of the chicken spots in New York. I, I had a poll on my YouTube over the weekend. I asked people what city has the best fried chicken. I said Nashville, New Orleans, Atlanta, I think of Chicago, LA. Put the best city for fried chicken in the comments, y'all. I know we're doing Nashville, but let me know. So flour and seasoning. Yep, flour and seasoning for the, for the dry and for the wet, it's gonna be egg, buttermilk, and hot sauce. But to make it to really Nashville hot, watch what I do, okay? I'm gonna show you how to make this Nashville hot. Somebody said Houston, Texas got the best. Appreciate that, Danica. Thank you for the love, Danica. Kansas City got the best fried chicken ever. I know Kansas City got barbecue. They got good fried chicken up there too. Maryland, Harold's Chicken in Chicago. Chicago got a lot of fried chicken places, man. Harold's, Sharks, Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, Uncle Remus up there in Chicago too. Omaha, Nebraska got good fried chicken. Oh yeah. Bronx, New York. What's the best fried chicken spot in the Bronx? Georgia, and we tired of it. I feel you, man. I grew up in Georgia, so we definitely know about some soul food down there. I already know. All right, y'all. So as this chicken starts to come to a close, I'm gonna show you how to make this sandwich truly Nashville hot. I'm gonna get my plates together and everything. Because this is the process that you have to follow to make this truly Nashville hot. I'm gonna grab my buns here. I'm gonna open them up just like this. Y'all like, do y'all like mayo on your sandwiches? Let me know of mayo. Y'all like mayo on your sandwich? I gotta have me a little bit of mayo. I don't know who made the rumor that black people don't like mayo, but it's not true. Uncle Dibs loves mayo. I'm using that truff mayo. If you if you if you bougie, this is that truffle infused mayonnaise. Just gonna put a little bit of that right on there. For me, for me. You don't have to do it. But I like me a little mayonnaise. The code for free shipping is Nashville VIP. And I'm gonna shout some of y'all out soon too. Oh yeah. I love in the color on this one right here. Let me shout some of y'all out while this chicken is finishing cooking. Oh, y'all really hitting this cold for real, for real. Let me see. 
I want to give a shout out to Maurice. Maurice out in Oklahoma, he got the jerk knife spice. Where's that at? He got the jerk knife spice and the Nashville hot. He likes it hot because the jerk is hot too as well. I want to give a shout out to Tyrone in Indiana. He got the Nashville hot and he got the Atlanta lemon pepper hot. He, he, he likes it hot too. I'm gonna shout some more of y'all out, but let me finish this. Let me finish this cook real quick, all right? So let me take this chicken out. So there you go, y'all. I got my two chicken thighs just like this. All right, this is the most important part, y'all. Pay attention. Y'all paying attention? We almost done. No, none of my spices have MSG. All my spices are all natural. There's no fake stuff in it at all, all right? They are all natural seasonings, so you don't have to worry about chemicals, metals, MSG, or anything like that, all right? So next, that same oil that you cooked your chicken in, this is how you make it Nashville hot. You wanna take a heat-proof bowl. You wanna take a heat-proof bowl, you wanna get you a ladle, and you wanna take some of that oil and put it in a bowl, okay? Yes, this is how they do it. So take you a little bit of that oil. I would say this is probably like a good half cup right here, all right? Just a little bit more because I got two sandwiches. Oil, just like that. I don't know, some of y'all got questions. I, I got the code, but still charge shipping. It's Nashville VIP, one word, all caps, not space. Nashville VIP. If you, if you did it by mistake, I'll help you out, all right, after I'm done with the live. Next, you want to put the Dirty Bird Nashville hot right up in there, just like that. If you want it extra hot, use some more seasoning. But a couple, couple shakes would do. A couple shakes would do, all right? Next, you want to whip that all together, just like this. Whip it all together, just like this. Next, you want to drop your chicken right up in that bowl, y'all. Right up in there. And you just want to get it nice and coated with that Nashville hot sauce, all right? Which is just the oil that we used with some of that Nashville hot seasoning. That's all you got to do. Appreciate everybody ordering right now. I'm gonna shout y'all out very, very soon. I'm dealing with some hot chicken right now, y'all. I gotta pay attention, all right? And if you do this right, if you do this correctly, this is what your chicken should look like. Y'all see that? That's what you're looking for. I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna finish building my hot chicken sandwiches. I got my mayo, do a little lettuce too as well. I'm gonna grab my chicken, put that right on top. Who likes pickles? Who likes pickles? Kelly, what to do, Kelly? Put two pickles right on top. And there you go. You didn't even have to go to Nashville, baby. You got your Nashville hot chicken sandwiches right there. Done deal. I, I put two pickles on there for y'all. Done deal. Simple, easy recipe that they'll charge you guys 30 bucks in these restaurants for that you can make right at home. And all I used was chicken thighs, a little bit of flour, a little bit of oil, peanut oil, and that brand new Uncle Dibs Dirty Bird Rub Nashville Hot what you can get from UncleDibs.com. Use the code Nashville VIP. One word, all caps for free shipping. And this will be right there for you in your kitchen, all right? But we got to try it out. If you want to see me try it out here live, drop some fire emojis in the comments, y'all. While y'all doing that, I'm going to shout out some more people buying some of the seasonings right now. I'm going to show y'all some love. Big shout out to Donald out in Florida. 
He got that Nashville hot. It's on the way, brother. Shout out to John in Georgia. He got the Nashville hot. It's on the way, brother. I guess my fellas really like it hot. Ladies don't really like it hot too much. Excuse me, I spoke too soon. Shout out to April in Indiana. She got that Nashville hot. It's on the way. Thomas, he got my Texas steak rub. And he got that Nashville hot. Shout out to Thomas in Texas. Everyone's using that code Nashville VIP. All one word, all caps for free shipping. And you can get all my seasonings for free shipping during this live today. But Unc is hungry, so I got to eat, all right? How you make the thighs without the bone? You can buy boneless and skinless chicken thighs at any grocery store. Any, any grocery store is going to have boneless and skinless chicken thighs, all right? All right, let me, let me close this up. Enough talking, let's get to eating. Look at that drip right there. It's wet, baby, it's wet, and that's what you're looking for. And I'm going to show y'all live how hot this is, all right? I'm going to show you how hot it is, all right? I don't, I, I don't have no milk. Nothing. I'm going to show you how, how hot it is, all right? Let's do it. Y'all got me looking crazy on here. Why don't y'all show me I had this on my face? But y'all, that's good, Sade. Listen, it's not even crazy hot like that. It's hot. Don't get it tripping. It's definitely hot. But it's, it's a good hot, though. It's a good hot. This is so good, y'all. Excuse me. Boston. If we did that in 30 minutes, maybe, tops. Go ahead and get that seasoning. It just dropped. This is a limited release, so I'm not doing a lot of bottles of this, all right? So with that being said, it's, it'll, it'll be around as long as it's around. So if it gets sold out today or by tomorrow, I'm sorry. But if you want to get it right now, especially with the free shipping, use the code NASHVILLEVIP for free shipping. Go to UncleDibs.com and go ahead and get it right now. I'm going to shout out some more, y'all, because I see my phone going off right now. Let me get y'all right. Y'all showing major love, so I appreciate y'all. Shout out to Ray. Ray got one bottle of that Dirty Bird Rub, Nashville Hot. It's on the way out there to California. Thank you, Ray. And then we got somebody from Tennessee, Julian in Tennessee. He got the Hot Bird Bundle, which is the Atlanta Lemon Pepper Hot and the Dirty Bird Nashville Hot. Come, come on, get it, Kelly. Shout out to Kelly. Y'all make sure y'all follow Kelly. She makes some great recipes. I love her smoked queso dip recipe. It's one of my favorites. Somebody that doesn't like a hot but still likes good flavors. Mari Soul in California got the Mama Bundle, which is my King Creole No Salt Blend and my BB's No Salt Blend as well. So everyone's using that code Nashville VIP for free shipping. Go ahead and go and get you some. Go to UncleDibs.com. Everybody that's loving the live, liking the live. We had almost 8,000 likes. Everybody double tapping the screen. I appreciate you. Everybody following. I see you. Big Easy. Uh, Plain Jane. Everybody, I see y'all. Thank you so much for the love, y'all. And I hope you guys get this season in your life because this is honestly the best chicken sandwich. And I didn't even have to wait in line for this. I didn't even have to wait in line for it. Try this out. That's good, Saudi. Once again, go to UncleDibs.com and get that seasoning in your life. It's called the Dirty Bird Rub Nashville Hot. Add it to your cart. Put that code Nashville VIP in there, and you'll get free shipping. I thank y'all for tuning in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, it's hot, y'all. I'm not going to lie to you now. It's, it's hot. You can even see some tears coming to Uck's eyes right now. It's still a little hot, but you guys see, I ain't drank nothing. I've been on the, I, I, done, I done ate, I done ate five bites of that sandwich and I ain't take one drink. Thank you, Kelly. Yes, Nashville VIP. I didn't take one drink, so I'm still thugging it out. 
I'm thugging it out for y'all right now. I ain't take one sip of nothing. Nothing. I'm I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it. I'm sitting with it right now. I need a little water, y'all. Excuse me. I had to grab my Yeti. No, but for real, though, it's really not that hot. It's got a kick to it, but it's definitely something you can still enjoy. It's if you want it even extra spicy, you can use just more of the seasoning. This whole recipe will be on my site later today, UncleDibs.com. I love to love y'all. I love cooking for y'all. I hope you guys have a blessed, beautiful day. I'll be having more recipes using this seasoning coming this week. I'm doing an all day of shooting tomorrow, so I can't wait to share it with y'all. Appreciate the love, y'all. Y'all be safe, and I'll talk to y'all soon, all right?